Welcome to Balkan Moto. Today we're going to be changing the rear tire. Check it out. This is the rear tire as it currently sits. Um, we're going to be changing it today and uh, there's a few things to point out before we do so. Uh, so this tire is actually the same size as the stock tire, so that's good. Um, the new one I am putting on though, however, is a slightly lower profile tire. So this one is a 130-90, the new one I'm putting on is a 130-80. Now what that means is that because of the uh, smaller profile, I should actually get a little bit more clearance from the fender but also from the seat so right now we have just about four inches of clearance with the back not loaded at all uh, so we'll see how that changes I'm thinking it will probably gain at least half an inch or maybe a quarter inch which is great any more clearance is better than nothing uh, in order to take off the back wheel, uh, we're going to need to uh, detach the rear brake mechanism, uh, detach the uh, fender from here and here, and once we undo this axle bolt, we can then just push the bolt out and the wheel comes off. So that would be it. Let's get that going. I've removed the bolt that attaches the uh, brake shaft. I've also removed the bolt that goes in here that holds the entire assembly from spinning and on the other side I took off the fender uh, and I've taken off the nut that holds the axle in. So now it's just a matter of loosening up this and pulling the axle out. So let's get the axle out and get this wheel off. Okay rear tire is off. Or rear wheel rather. And here they are. So this is the old wheels. This is the new one that we're putting on. A um, few things to point out. Uh, obviously, new wheel has a 130-80, and the old one is a 130-90. So 10% shorter. The other thing to point out here is that you can see the wear and tear on these tires in terms of over time. Um, you can see how much more round the new tire is versus this one. This one's developed this like flat spot right here. Um, and this one is like nice and round. So that's that. All right, let's let the air out of the old one, clean up the rim a little bit and start taking it off. All right, the wheel is clean. Uh, the air is out of the tire. The nozzle is out. Um, so let's uh, pop the wheel off the beat, which it already kind of is <laughs> doing, just by doing this to it. But in either way, I just do it the proper way. So, so lubrication with Windex, always good. Okay, and just keep going all the way around till you get it off. Rip us off. Let's put the new tire on. on. Now let's uh, put the nozzle back in and set the bead and then we're going to balance it. Okay, wheel is mounted and inflated. 
let's balance it. So what I didn't show you last time because I ran out of battery is after you spin it and you let it settle at the heaviest point, which should be, it seems like right around where the nozzle is. So after you figure it out where the heavy, okay, so this is the heaviest, so right here at the end of the air roll uh, is where we're going to put the weights. So what you do is I have these, uh, what are they, quarter ounce uh, weights. So you just add them one at a time. There we go. Tape. Make sure it's clean. And stick it on. Once you're stuck on one weight, what you do is you turn the wheel 90 degrees and you let go. If the wheel goes up, that means that's not enough weight. It's still too heavy on this side. If it goes down, that means that this weight is too heavy. So I expect this to actually go up. And there you go. So it goes up. So we need to add more weight. So what I'll do is I'll add another one on the other side of the wheel. To make sure that things are a little more even. On the front wheel, I needed. Three weights. Okay, this one's not sticking properly, so let's use another one. Sometimes the glue on these are just not good. actually works then you do repeat the same thing turn it to 90 degrees and okay so it's still too light so like I said with the front wheel we needed three so probably gonna need three here as well so let's do that another one next to it So it's still too light. Okay, so let's add a fourth one. <clears throat> so this wheel is a little more unbalanced than the other one. In terms of just generally speaking, the wheel itself. So like a full ounce, 28 grams. And there you go. The wheel is more or less balanced. Like this is good enough. Perfect. Okay, so now let's mount, uh, mount the wheel back on the bike. All right, rear tire is fully mounted. Everything's torqued to spec. And it actually looks really good. Um, we got a ton more clearance from the rear fender and it actually looks good it's not it doesn't look dangerous or anything like that uh, the fender itself is still pretty solid uh, it's all good um, the other thing to mention here the clearance from the seat uh, much like I predicted it's about half an inch almost a full inch in gain so it's perfect a lot more clearance I don't have to worry about the tire rubbing on this so this is good. That was it for this episode. Wheels are 
tires are finally changed, so we should expect some much better performance uh, this coming season. The only thing remaining to do on the bike to actually have it in operating state is fix the clutch line. So that's coming soon. I've ordered the parts already. Um, so yeah, make sure to subscribe, hit the little bell for notifications when new videos become available. Check me out on Instagram and check out balconmodel.com. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.